Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 microprocessor practical series. So this is uh, practical number 6, we have done uh, 5 practicals. Now in this particular practical, what we have to do is, uh, this are the calculations with respect to memory locations. So in the first, there are 2 programs, I will divide this practical in 2 parts, 6A and 6B. So in this particular 6A practical, we have this write a program to sort given 10 numbers from memory location. 2 to 0, 0 H in ascending order so what we are given is we are given some data in uh, memory location there are 10 numbers starting from 2 to 0, 0. then second number is 2 to 0, 1 2 to 0, 2 and so on so we have 10 numbers which are stored in this memory location so we have to write a program which can actually uh, arrange these numbers in ascending order that is increasing order okay so this uh, is the program I have already written this okay, this is the program so the very first instruction we start with MVI B09 so the very first step is we set the counter 1 okay then uh, we are using two counter this is the first counter okay then the next instruction is LXI H2200 so we are setting the memory pointer then the next instruction is MVI C we are setting two counters so here what our aim will be we will take the first number and compare it with each and every other number okay so we have to do this for 10 numbers right so uh, first number so we are using here two two counters one counter is to see that one number is compared with all the other nine numbers okay and uh, the main uh, the, the counter number one it will ensure that all the numbers they are counted all, all the numbers they are compared okay so we have to run two counters so what we do is first we take the first number from memory location to a and then we increment the memory pointer and then this is uh, uh, compare the number okay compare a with the next number so we are taking the first number in a and comparing it with the second number now in case either we get the carry or zero it means that the number which is in memory is larger so in case whatever data we are having in the memory location if it is greater or if it is equal to a then we skip that particular number so what has given is jc8015 and jz8015 so here we have 8015 so this part is skipped we decrement the counter c okay now c what this c register c uh, or this is uh, register c is uh, as which, which we are using as a counter number two it ensures that that particular number is compared with each and every other number so we take one number and compare with all the other numbers okay so we decrement C and jump J and Z means if C is not 0 then jump to 8007 so here we have 8007 we take the next number and this continues okay until we reach the this count as 0 okay now after reaching suppose when C becomes 0 okay then what will happen it will decrement B once okay and see that if B is not 0 it will jump to 8002 so 8002 is again it, it loads the same thing okay so it compares every number with every other number this this ensures that part and suppose what happens if if that number which we are come suppose we have a number a one number in a and another number in register uh, in memory location m so when we are comparing the two numbers in case if a is greater then we have to interchange the number because we have to go in ascending order so we have to transfer that the data which is in a to the memory location so this part this part it ensures that thing that we do we take m from uh, we, do, we take the number from m to d and a to m so we transfer the data from a to m okay and m to d so then we decrement the counter and transfer from d to m then inxh and dcrc this is done afterwards so we'll see this uh, i have one software in which all everything i have not taken any animation here so we'll see we have a software in which everything will, we will just observe what is going on in that particular in this particular program let us see the program now so i'll be doing this practical on uh, another software this is a paid version this is not a free software i will suggest you can do that on uh, any other simulator which we have been using till now the jubin simulator it, is, it would be better so uh, why i'm using this particular software is because here we get a visual uh, thing like what is happening at each and every instruction as we go on uh, executing each and every step uh, we'll see what is happening in in the registers what is happening in the memory location so this is much user friendly as compared to the other software but as i told you this is not a free software it is a 
paid one so the name is micro process simulator 8085 this uh, this is a uh, 3.5 uh, version okay uh, it was it is available on uh, I, i'll just put the link uh, in the description section okay so uh, so now how to enter the program the very first thing is i will just uh, type here 8000 because my program is starting from 8000 by default it is always 000 okay now in my program the first instruction is mvib so i'll just type click here mvi b okay and uh, it is 09 so it is 09 okay then it is it will just come here and all the in whatever the of course they are coming automatically here now next instruction is lxi okay so this is lxi h okay this uh, 2200 so i'll just 2200 next instruction is mvic so next instruction is mvic this is also 09 so in this way i'll just put all the instructions okay and uh, we'll execute the code Now after entering the program we need to enter the memory location so you can see data grid is given here i will just type here uh, we are starting on 2200 right so 2200 and i click here and i can add the data which i have to arrange in the ascending order so i start with suppose uh, uh 32 okay and i click uh, just put it uh, arrow down okay then 56 okay i will just put some random data okay i have to arrange it in uh, ascending order i have to put 10 data bytes So just go on putting anything okay and after when we execute we'll see that it has been arranged okay i'm just putting it randomly up to uh, 2209 we'll make up okay 99 okay so this is the data i can put any data of course we'll get the result now after putting the data we have to execute now there are two ways of uh, executing either step or run let us go by the step way that is what i wanted here that if we go by step wise it will show what it is doing in each and every uh, instruction so with step 1 as we can see mvib so you can see b register 09 is uh, okay uh, stored in register b with the next step lxih so 2200 so it, it is stored in uh, h and l register 2 is stored in h and l in and 00 in l and they are also acting as a memory pointer okay then with the next step mvic 09 so as we can see c contains 09 the next instruction move a comma m so whatever data is in this pointer which is 2200 so we have 32 so 32 will go in register a so this is what we are having 32 in register a so this is the beauty of this particular uh, we can say this uh, software that we can actually see in run time what is going on So next instruction inxh with inxh we have this 2200 becomes 2201 so we go to the next memory location okay so this is 2201 okay then the next step it will compare now after comparing as we know 32 is less than 56 because 32 is in a so what this cmpm do cmpm compares the data of register a with the memory location which is pointed by hl register pair now hl is pointing to 2201 and it has 56 now 56 is greater than 32 so uh carry will be generated okay so this is uh this is what uh, actually 32 is less than 56 so this is not changed okay because we want to arrange in ascending order so in ascending order 56 greater than 32 so there, so there should be no change so here as we can see it checks this condition jump if carry to 8051 and in, you can see a carry is generated okay this, you can see it is red is green mark okay so it carry is generated it will jump to 8015 at a0 we have dcrc so dcrc means for the first number is compared with the second number okay now it will decrement the counter okay and jump if no 0 to 8007 it will move up again take the next number okay so it will take the next number in uh, so it will now take 56 okay now 56 is taken in register a okay now it increments okay now after incrementing we have 
दिस टू टू जीरो इट पॉइंट्स टू द नेक्स्ट मेमरी लोकेशन ओके सो दिस टू टू जीरो टू ओके दिस इज टू टू जीरो टू ना टू टू जीरो टू वी हैव जीरो जीरो ओके ना वेन इट कंपेयर्स एज वी नो दैट इट इज कंपेयरिंग फाइव सिक्स विथ जीरो जीरो ओके फाइव सिक्स विथ जीरो जीरो एंड एज वी सी आफ्टर कंपेयरिंग बिकॉज द डेटा इन ए इज ग्रेटर देन द डेटा इन द लोकेशन टू टू जीरो टू सो कैरी विल नॉट बी जनरेटेड ना वेन कैरी इज नॉट जनरेटेड इट हैज टू इंटरचेंज बिकॉज फाइव सिक्स हैज टू कम हियर एंड जीरो जीरो मस्ट गो अप ओके सो सी वॉट इट डज ओके सो कैरी इज नॉट जनरेट इज एक्चुअली नॉट जनरेटेड ओके एंड जीरो इज ऑल्सो नॉट देन ओके सो इट विल नॉट स्कीप दिस पार्ट when it skips this part when carry is gen so carry is not so now we have to take m in register d so as we can see this data of memory 2202 it goes in register d okay in the next step the data from a it goes to memory location as you can see this 56 is shifted here okay it was up now it goes here now 00 has to be shifted here okay so now we decrement the register de decrement this uh, uh, this uh, memory pointer it comes to again 2 2 0 1 because we have to shift 0 0 here okay so it goes up now 0 0 comes up and 5 6 goes down so this is what we are doing here okay this part is for interchanging that particular thing okay now we go to the next memory pointer and so on we just continue this after we run the entire program we see that entire all these things they are actually arranged in the ascending order let us run it at one shot okay okay so as we can see they are arranged in the ascending order okay so 0 0 1 2 as you can see so this is how this program is this is actually extra one okay when we are typing that this it, it also takes one more location so we just concentrate from 2 2 0 0 to 2 2 0 9 this is our data is okay so as you can see this program is executed and we get the data initially the data was randomly uh, arranged now it has been ascend arranged in the ascending order so this is how we do this program so thanks for watching